Greetings, folks, and welcome to my first tonight's presentation. My name is Director Kaylee. We all heard the word cryptid during one point of our life. I mean, you're here watching this video, are you? For starters, cryptids are a unique race of creatures that one can label as monsters. Or species of animals of which that defy boundaries of logic. Some are so strange, it pushes the boundaries actually existing. We at this agency document all of the possible information for the public's consumption. Now we got the definition out of the way, let's go over their history. Several years after the war between the gods and titans, the Holy Trinity created the very first cryptid from pre-existing big animals from Earth. Such as an ox, a rhino, a lion and a cheetah. Then, they imbued it with a piece of heaven. This entity has many titles with it as well. Like Creature of Revelations, Beast of the Earth, Alpha Titan, Humbaba and upon others. But it has been referred as Behemoth for most of history. It was assigned to protect the forests and kingdoms of the Earth. Over the years, Behemoth got consumed by chaos and developed a god complex. He soon generated another cryptid named Balchiel to be his servant and convince mortals to worship him like as a god. And kill those who would refuse. The humans even made a vigorite for every summer solstice to perform sacrifices to appease Behemoth. But it wasn't enough, he later declared war on Leviathan the Sea Devil and Zez the Imperial Eagle for the control of the world. While Leviathan utilized aquatic demons, as Zez used the sky gods Devis, as soldiers for the war. Yet for Behemoth himself, he created monstrosities by mixing his DNA with various animals. This is the birth of all cryptids. The three-way conflict shook the entire planet, but stopped by the Holy Trinity's divine intervention. The aquatic demons were sent back to the waters and the devas to return to the sky. Then, they wiped out one over three of the monster race, but the ones that remained went into hiding in the wilderness. Others went in distant islands across the globe for refuge, but Barbello, one of the Hema's earliest creations lead the rest underground to the hollow earth. There, everyone titled her as their queen, but as for, be as for Behemoth and Balchiel themselves, the Holy Trinity sealed them away in the Dam of a Mountain. Now we got that little history lesson out of the way, let's get into the various types of cryptids. Type A. Animalistic, these anomalies may appear, as your run of the mill animal you may encounter in the woodlands. But they have abnormal deformities or a quality to make themselves different from an ordinary animal. They favor instincts over intelligence, hence their average low IQ. The percentage of being killed by one is also quite low, but never zero. The following are a list of cryptids that fall underneath this list, not deer. Jagger the Devil Thunderbird El Chupacat Brahalot Mess Monster Mongolian Death Worm and plenty more to- Type B. Humanoid, if you haven't guessed, these cryptids possess human-like characteristics. And their intellect levels are average for the most part. The mortality rate by interacting with these entities are by 10 to 15 percent. The following are a list of cryptids that fall underneath this list. Bigfoot Mothman Bat Squatch the Gill Man Dover Demon the Cornish Owl. See? Eldritch. Only if you had been seen, let alone been documented before. They are the strongest of the previous main types here. They are often said to be godlike. Their appearance can be described as love attraction and their intelligent levels are high. Plus, the chances of being killed by one are also high. The following are a list of cryptids that fall underneath this list. Banyip. The slithering shadow. The tree men of Mwa the dweller in the Gulf the worker at the... Kaiju, sometimes called Daikaiju, they are strange beasts similar to the previously mentioned type A and B, but their forms are colossal in size. They are very common in Japan, but they made their presence known across the globe. Their height averages over 100 feet, but despite that and modern media depiction, the kaiju are peaceful cryptids. The following below are the four subclassifications of kaiju. Kaiju, the lesser kaiju to siju, parasitic variants densetsuju, aka legendary beasts and shinju slash siju, the divine versions of kaiju. Deviants. This type is very new, the first report of them dated back after a few months of World War I by researchers, when they discovered the Eighth Continent. They are mysterious entities and not much is known about them. The natives there refused to speak of them, as they believe it's a bad omen. But based what the researchers gathered, deviants come in different shapes and sizes. As their whole figure made of oversized, dark green hamstrings. 
They don't eat like any other life form. They feel a sentient being's life force with their mystic abilities. We hope you learned something today. This has been Director Killy from the Cryptid Agency signing off. Remember, may the Council have mercy on your souls. What the hell do you want this time, Ty? In front of the director's notes, I'm missing from my poster and I said he's the higher ups. Who was it? Ken, let's keep our voices down, or they will find us. One of my drones received anomalous signals just a hundred miles away from the Dronadact region in the woods of Kim. Ugh. I hate walking in these damn woods. It's so dark and. and. What the fuck is that?